When I was young, it was said that mine would be the first generation of Canadians to live without ever experiencing war. This was, of course, untrue. Remnants, echoes, and the fact of war have cast a shadow over our lives. Our grandfathers fought and died in the front lines of the war to end all war, and our grandmothers became widows. A few years after this great war, Canadian volunteers went overseas to fight in the Spanish Civil War. Our fathers and uncles were again in the front lines during the big one, the Second World War. When each of these wars ended, those who had survived came back to Canada damaged, often in ways as yet unimagined. We had not yet been born, but souvenirs of these wars pervade our society. All our lives, wars have impinged on our war-free society. One way or another, Canada has been associated with the Korean War, the American invasions of Vietnam and other Southeast Asian nations, the Cold War, and more recent American invasions in the Far East. Even now, our government sends too many of our young to die in foreign lands. The effects reverberate throughout our society. Growing up, I regularly saw military convoys driving north on the highway between Calgary and Edmonton, heading toward Alaska. There were military aircraft in the skies overhead. Even in our smallest towns, tall poles were topped with air raid sirens to warn of nuclear attack. Communities were listed in order of their priority as targets for nuclear bombs. If there was no war, there was also no peace. My generation may have enjoyed a life of apparent peace, but we were forged from the fires of war. I am a child of war.